Gemma Godfrey is founder and CEO of Moolah, a finance and technology firm, and is a city commentator. Uh, Gemma, welcome to the studio. We're going to talk wages and unemployment. What's, uh, what's the situation there? Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, we had a lot of good news out yesterday. The fact is that wages are growing, which is great. However, you know, why don't we feel better off? And the reason is, is that the cost of living is rising more than our wages are. So wage growth is 2.1%. So for every £10 we earned last year, we're now earning £10.21. Right. However, every £10 that we spent last year, we're now spending £10.26p, right. you know, groceries, petrol, etc. So actually, in real terms, we're worse off, and that's a bit of a concern. So households are still being squeezed. And what are the forecasters saying? This is like set to continue or to get worse or to, to narrow down a bit? What do, we, what do we suspect or what do we expect? Well, the issue is is that um, households are being squeezed because our currency is weak. And again, yesterday we saw a little bit of a bounce in our currency. It strengthened a little bit. But that's off of a seven-year low. So because our currency is so weak, it costs more to import goods. And that's going to continue as we still grapple with Brexit. And therefore, households are going to be squeezed by having to spend more and more money on food and petrol. And we import. lastly on this, are supermarkets at the moment seem to try and hold back these price increases? Are they somehow holding it back or are they starting to pass? it on on the shelves now? Oh, there are a couple of interesting tricks that you should look for. For example, um, they're shrinking sizes. Yes. So actually, you've got to make sure that you're getting as much food as you used to. Right. And also, I read today they're making walnut whips without the walnuts. <gasps> Did you see that? I have not. Well, Catastrophe. Seriously. Now, they now, I mean, not because I think of any... They're trying, they're just, they, they say the taste is better, but why would you want a walnut whip? <gasps> it would be like having a fish finger without yeah, the fish. It yeah. would, wouldn't be much point anyway. Oh. We, we move on. Should we talk about the FTSE 100 and investment? There, what's happening? So, what's quite interesting is that when people think about the stock market, they usually just think about capital growth, so um, the value of a stock going up and down. But what actually you can do as well is you can earn income from it. So, dividends are a share of the profits. Um, basically, a company will um, offer some of their profits back to investors, mm. and we're seeing that growing. So, we're seeing quite a healthy return. And the reason is is that a lot of companies that are in our stock market are actually international, so they're earning in different currencies. So, when you translate that back into pounds, they're able to buy more pounds, and it's worth more. So, their profits have been boosted, and they're passing on more of this to their investors. And lastly, it once it was once a behemoth, a giant company, Nokia. It's fair to say they were squeezed out. But there's a good story in the Guardian. They've got a, they've got a way they think they might be able to get back in the market. What's a bothy, Gemma? A bothy, which, by the way, I thought maybe we were going down the route of belfy, which is um, the, yeah, the, you What's have a, well, belfie? you have a selfie, which is your face. A belfy is your behind. I thought maybe we would be discussing that. How do you that. get belf- How do you get? Be- I don't know. You, you pose. No, sorry, but like, but it's BE po- from behind. Yeah, and that's how you get- yeah, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. Anyway, okay. but no, this is a bothy. Don't worry, everyone. Yeah. This is a bothy. And what this do is. Do many people take pictures of their bottoms? Oh, I don't. You know, from behind. Well, with the Kardashians. I mean, look. Oh, just, anyway, right, okay. but a bothy is yeah. where you um, take a photo on both sides. And the thing is, people are already kind of doing this because what you can do is when you're filming yourself, you tap the screen and it switches and it shows what you're looking at. Oh, what I this see. will do is split the screen so you can see both at the same time. And it's interesting because the way that technology is moving with. Uh, you know, virtual reality and 360, like really immersive. Yeah. Being able to see both sides is quite so interesting. So if I take a picture of me with the Empire State Building behind me, then I'm also going to see the view that I would have yeah. had when I was taking the shot. Exactly. And that splits the screen, does yeah. it? Yeah, so it's got a really immersive... And it, look, it's ultimately Nokia, you know, it's disbanded, and this is its attempt, which is interesting, to kind of revive it by t- going after a market, the selfie market, which is, you know, yeah. a very big market. As a market commentator, what do you reckon? Have you got legs <laughs> this idea? Are you in or are you out? Well, I mean, they've got a lot of catching up to do um so they've really fallen behind different smartphones so yeah. uh, all right yeah, it's, a, it's a good attempt <laughs> it's good you know very wise words Gemma Goffrey good seeing you Gemma thank you your founder and CEO of Moolah a finance and technology firm and a market commentator